Here in UPW, we are believers in equality. Hell, last week I allowed a gorilla to compete for a chance at the world title. Last week you also saw two of our women wrestlers, Hannah Harper and Crimson Butterfly. Now tonight, you will see another women's match as we are looking to build a strong division for female competitors. You will also see the final two matches for the quarterfinals to determine our first world champion. This is UPW. Welcome back to the underground. Welcome back everyone to UPW. Again, I'm King of Clubs. And here we are ready to start the night off with some world title action. World title tournament action, that is. Uh, here's Michael Griffin. You may remember him from the Underground Rumble. Uh, a lot of good promise, a lot of, a lot of good things being said about this young man. As he looks to make a name for himself here in UPW. Fans seem to, to, to appreciate him. Though he is quite oily, I will say that. question is who is going to be Michael Griffin's opponent for this evening? He certainly seems ready. Well, this is interesting. Looks like the first round opponent is Sergeant Trevor McCarthy. Sergeant McCarthy is a member of a military group called the Militia. Now, McCarthy's partner, uh, McCarthy's partner was involved in the Underground Rumble that was held recently, 
Um, however, McCarthy was not. Um, now, likewise, his partner will not be involved in this tournament. Very proud soldier McCarthy is. And Sergeant McCarthy. Ooh, little drop kick misses. Oof. Big kick to the back of the head. With the counter there. Forearm smash. Another. Hard hits. And. Ooh. I'm say a guillotine slingshot there. I'm trying to get an early lead here. Big corner splash on uh, the larger Sergeant McCarthy. McCarthy with a good counter there. Ooh! Yeah, discus forearm right to the face. Dropping Griffin. McCarthy now trying to make a comeback. Big German suplex. Nice counter. Going up top here. Ooh! Comes down with a look like a double axe handle. So he's going for a capture. Capture T bone suplex. And into a pin. One. Oh. Very early kick out by Sergeant McCarthy. Counting each other back and forth here. Ooh. Nice, nice uh, springboard splash there from the middle rope. Ooh, and a leg whip. Taking the taller, taking his taller punt down is Griffin. Just taking it to him, taking a beating here. There's most of the ropes. Ducks under the clothesline. Oh, calls that the psych out. It's a big clothesline there. There's one, two. Ooh, no, kick out. Kick out by Sergeant McCarthy, showing that he's not going to go down easily. It's been an excellent showing so far, Michael Griffin. Double underhook into a suplex. Nicely done. Up top again. What's he going to do this time? Ooh! There's like a modified 450 there. To a pin. Two. Another kick out. What else can we expect to see here? Ooh! Super kick! That dropped him hard. And signaling for something big here. Get him up. Looks like a torture rack. Ooh! Into a driver. A brutal, brutal move here. Over the pin here. One, two, another kick out. Yeah, I appreciate the heart and the guts. Sergeant McCarthy here, not one to go down. Oh, and a big counter. With the counter of his own. Ooh! That basement drop kick again. Just being brutal. We can go for the double under hook suplex. Gonna do here. All right, springboard, springboard moonsault from the middle rope there. He's getting him up again. The Griffin driver. Such an impactful move there. Going for the pin. Maybe this will do it. 
And one, two, no. You know, Sergeant McCarthy hasn't gotten any, hardly any offense in. But he's definitely not going down without a fight. There's a counter. A counter. Ooh, big running kick. Time for him to get up. Ooh, and another super kick. Not sure if he's catching him on the chest or the jaw. Looks like he set him up for the psych out again. Ducks under. Ooh, it's just a devastating clothesline. Ooh. Big counter there. Pat McCarthy. He's trying to make a comeback here. Right, he's putting the boots to, to Griffin. Oh! Stood up there a little too long. Ooh! Front flip. Almost like a swanton type move. Ooh, big, big leg whip. I also don't know how much more McCarthy can take here. He's just absorbing a ton of punishment. Look for the pen for that capture exploder. One, two, finally, your winner. It's Michael Griffin. Let's take a look at the highlights here. There was the first capture suplex captured T-Bone Suplex and he kicked out almost immediately. The first time the psych out hit him and put him down for a two count. So there's one, two. Then he got picked up again and received a super kick. That's the first super kick. There's the first Griffin driver. One, Two and this was a close one. He kicked out pretty forcefully. Got caught again with that capture T bone suplex. Finally, was able to put him away. So your winner here is Michael Griffin. A little bit of trouble with the referee there. We're gonna take a look at the bracket here. Show you the tournament bracket. As you can see, Michael Griffin now advancing on to the next round. Folks, we got one more match tonight for the uh, for the first round of the tournament, and then next week we'll begin the semifinals. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for our women's division match of the evening. On our way to the ring is Joan Thompson making her debut tonight. Certainly not afraid to tell the audience what she thinks of them. As I mentioned at the top of the show, looking to build a strong women's division here in UPW. I think Joan is going to be an excellent, excellent component in that formula. Now for her opponent. Looks like we're seeing the return of Crimson Butterfly. She was in a grueling match last week with Hannah Harper. Imagine which she came up a little bit short. So hoping to, to reclaim some momentum here going forward.
Please keep in mind that Crimson Butterfly, even though she didn't win her match last week, she's still a very dangerous competitor. Alright, here we go. Butterfly trying to take control early on. You see with the back elbow. Ooh, and a big running bulldog. A larger Thompson. Nice counter. Fireman's carry takeover. John has a counter of her own. Nice back and forth going on here. Look at the flexibility and the strength. Joan Thompson. Just choking her with the boot in the corner. Oh! Running. It's like a running knee, a running hip attack. Oh! It just slams her down hard. Ooh! Spine buster there. Goes for an early pin. One. Two. Nope, kick out. You gotta speculate a little bit here whether or not Crimson Butterfly is still feeling the effects of the match from last week. Jones got her picked up. Oh, wow. Falcon Arrow. Going for a pin again. Nope. Caught the rope. The referee says that the rope break there. Oof. Running back elbow and looks like he's going for a clothesline. Choking her again in the corner. Before he's got to get in there and do something about that. There by the legs. Oh wow. Just set up power bomb almost. Oh, there we go. So Crimson Butterflies get some still got some fight in her. Ooh. Arm breaker. Trying to make a comeback. Oh, pin. Rope break. Just way too close to the ropes. I'm going to press Spine Buster again. She can go for that Falcon Arrow. Looks like she's going to stand there and taunt a little bit. She's definitely feeling confident. Oh. Knocked out of the ring. Oof. Kick. Oh, wow. Knocked her down on the table there. Oh no, <laughs> trying to get a weapon. It's not a nose qualification match. Oh, counter. Oh, double overhand chop. She saunters over to get her opponent. What's she going to do here? Was her out to the apron? Oh, no way. Look at the strength. Picks her up and gives her a deadlift Falcon Arrow. Look at that, that's insane. It's gotta be it here. And for the pin. And one, two, no. Goodness, resiliency of these competitors here tonight. We saw it in our opening match with McCarthy not wanting to go down. We're seeing the same thing here with the Crimson Butterfly. What's she gonna do here? Oh, big splash! And goes for the pin immediately. Down the ref. One, two, no. Look out again. Oof. Overhand right. Goes for a chop. Gets blocked. Counters the scoop slam. Into a back suplex. One more. Spine buster. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Three. Wow, a valiant effort again by Crimson Butterfly, but couldn't not 
the get out of the gates hardly against Joan Thompson. Joan is just dismantling her. The spine busters, which is the one you see here. The butterfly, she she fought hard. She kicked out a number of times. That last spine buster there. Just too much. And there's that there's that deadlift falcon arrow. That was an impressive, impressive move, but it just was not enough to finish the job. As you see here. Very close. Almost being three. There's that final final one arm spine buster. And you can tell that it was starting to take a toll on Joan. Because she just had to kind of collapse on to her opponent. But here's your winner. Joan Thompson, I think, is going to be a dominant force in our women's division here. Well, we talked at the beginning of the night about our tournament, uh, the first round of our tournament coming to an end. That's exactly what we're going to see here as we get ready for our main event of the evening, the last quarterfinal matchup of our tournament here for the determine the first world champion in UPW. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. Coming to the ring first, it's El Guapo making his singles de debut here in UPW. Wapo, from what I found according to Google Translate, means the handsome, which is ironic for a mass wrestler. Nonetheless, El Guapo, he was involved in that underground rumble. He's looking to make a name for himself here in the tournament, just like all the other competitors are. He wants to be that first world champion. But he's going to have to get through this man in order to do it. Here's Tyler Jordan. Now, if there's anyone that I think is going to be a serious threat in this tournament, Tyler Jordan could be it. I mean, everyone has their own fair chance of winning the tournament. But I strongly feel that Jordan could be our first world champion. It's kind of in the way of the shot there, but how Jordan is ready to go, as is El Guapo. And we're ready to get this one underway. Here we go. Oof. Nice arm drag takeover by El Guapo. And another arm drag takeover. Up to a strong start, but there goes Tyler Jordan. Ooh, back elbow. And another one. Oh. Short on punch. Looks more like a chop there. Put him back to the corner there. Looks like he was going for a German suplex. Got countered. Oh, and an overhead belly to belly by Jordan. He's got him in the corner now. What's he going to do? Oh. Oh, it gives him a buckle bomb. My God. Devastating move early on. Uh oh. Wow. Not only did he recover from a buckle bomb, but he jumped up and gave him a Frankensteiner. Oof. And a right knee. You're going to see an excellent main event, I can already tell. Up we go into the top rope, what's he got planned here? He likes to fly. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. A power bomb against the ropes. What a counter by Jordan.
that could that could seriously seriously hinder Wapo's chances. Oh, a release double underhook suplex. Just going to town here. It's Tyler Jordan. Let's get it going on. Oh wow! A suplex into a lung blower. One, two, no. Kick out by Guapo. Not gonna be put away so soon. Now I say so. I say that he's not gonna be put away soon. But at the same time, Guapo has already taken a great deal of punishment. Took a buckle bomb. Took a power bomb against the ropes. There was another suplex into the ropes. Legs first. Jordan, ooh, big, big leg drop into the pin. One, two, oh, kick out. Ooh, jawbreaker by Guapo. Oh, going for the super hold. This is a move he loves to use. Ooh, jawbreaker though by Jordan. Gets out of it quickly. Oh no. He's got him in position. What's he gonna do here? Oh. Nope. Jordan got out of it. So he's going for some type of back suplex, got countered into a lateral press. And he's looking like going for the suplex into the lung lore again. God. Let's take another look at this one. Just insane. That's just a brutal move. Just for a pin, is this gonna be all? One, two, no. It's very resilient. It is El Guapo. Pointing to the ringside area. What's he gonna do here? Oh, no, the counter there by Guapo. Oh, us. Slingshot, slingshot shoulder tackle. Ooh, Had to dive down on him. Couldn't get him. Jordan, ooh, spinning. Looks like a falcon arrow of his own. We saw that earlier in the match with Joan Thompson. Oh no, looks like they're coming out to the side, to the ringside here. In front of the in front of the announce table. To count, you have to count ten to get back into the ring. Ooh, bangs his head hard against the table. Oh, and a snap suplex on the concrete floor. It's gonna take a count out win. He's very proud of his work. He's up to six. Can't make it back in. Seven. It's gonna be. I beats the count. Oh! Oh my goodness, I think he busted him open. Oh! Jawbreaker. And another counter. Oh no, he's wait, he's sitting up again. Will the third time be the charm here. Suplex. Oof. That's, that's just That's just gotta It's gotta be paralyzing having those knees driven into your back like that. From such a high altitude. One, two, three, finally. Perhaps mercifully, the match is now over. Your winner in dominant fashion is Tyler Jordan. Now let's take nothing away from El Guapo. Guapo took a ton of punishment. He endured three of those of those suplex into lung blowers. I'm not sure what what you call it, but it was devastating move nonetheless.
Ooh, that's the second one. One, two. Yeah, you saw him kick out there. This was the third time's a charm. Oof. Such a brutal move. And one, two, and there you see the three. Tyler Jordan moving on to, this, to the next round to the semifinals. As I mentioned before, he could be our first world champion here in UPW. I'm gonna take another look at the bracket. There you see it, ladies and gentlemen. The bracket is set for our semifinal matchups. You see Matsuda, Wolf of Walmart, Michael Griffin, and Tyler Jordan. Those are the four semifinalists. And that starts next week here in UPW. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into UPW this week. Uh, be sure to tune in next week to see more exciting action as our tournament continues. As we inch closer to crowning our first ever world champion. Again, I'm Keanu Clubs, and have a nice day. Wash, 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 wash,